So the next question is three signals S1 of T, comma S2 of T and S3 of T are shown in the figure. Apply Gram-Schmidt's orthogonalization procedure to obtain an orthonormal basis function for the signals express S1 of T, S2 of T and S3 of T in terms of the orthonormal basis function. So there are two tasks to be performed, right? So one is to find out the number of orthonormal basis function that is n is equal to how much? And second one, we have to express all these signals S1 of T, S2 of 3 and S3 of T message signal in terms of orthonormal basis function. So as we have seen in the previous problem, let us find out what are the number of independent signals. So in this case, the number of the orthonormal functions n is equal to number of independent signal m, right? So how many number of independent signal, how many number of independent signal you have 0 to 2? and 2 to 4. So if I add these two, we will get 0 to 4, right? So I can write that S1 of t is equal to S2 of t plus S3 of t. So this is linearly dependent. So what are the remaining two linearly independent signal? S2 of t and S3 of t are linearly independent signals. So m is equal to 2. Linearly independent signal is equal to 2. Therefore, n will al also be equal to 2, okay? So now we have to find out phi 1 of t and phi 2 of t because we know that now phi 3 of t will be equal to 0. Now phi 1 of t is equal to what is the formula you have s 1 of t divided by root of uh, the energy of that signal. So what is e1? e1 is equal to 0 to t s1 square of t into dt. What is s1 square amplitude is equal to 3 right? 3 square into dt. What is your limit? 0 to 4. So 0 to 4. So 9 into when you apply the limit, integration and limit 4 minus 1, you will be sorry, 4 minus 0, right? So 9 into 4, you will be getting E1 is equal to 36 joules. So what will be your 5 1 of T S 1 of T divided by root 36, which is nothing but 6, right? So 5 1 of T is equal to S 1 of T divided by 6. So can we draw the diagram now? 5 1 of T is equal to S 1 of T divided by s1 of t divided by 6 right so 3 divided by 6 or 3 into 1 by 6 so what you will be getting 1 by 2 right amplitude will become 1 by 2 and your time period remains the same 0 to 4 now i can write the ortho normal basis function phi 1 of t as 1 by 2 for 0 to <coughs> 4 right 0 to t less than or equal to 4 and 0 otherwise what is your step 2? Step 2 is uh, now you have to find out the second orthonormal basis function. So you are going to introduce an intermediate term. So what is your intermediate term? G i of t is equal to S i of t minus summation j is equal to 1 to i minus 1 S i j into phi j of t. In this case, what is your condition? i is equal to 2. Now g 2 of t is equal to S 2 of t minus summation j is equal to 1 i minus 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1 s 2 j into phi j of t therefore g 2 of t is equal to s 2 of t minus substitute j is equal to 1 so s 2 1 into phi 1 of t this will become your g 2 of t so can we draw it diagrammatically so in this you have to find out the coefficient right s 2 1 so what will be your s 2 1 s 2 1 will be equal to 0 to t s 2 of t into phi 1 of t into dt so let me draw it again s 2 of t amplitude 3 time period 0 to 2 then you have 5, 1 of t, 1 by 2, 0 to 4. Okay. So what will be your limit here? It is 0 to 2. Here it is 0 to 4. What is a common area? 0 to 2. So your limit will be 0 to 2. Into what is your S2 of t? S2 of t amplitude is 3 into 5, 1 of t is equal to 1 by 2. So 3 into 1 by 2 into dt. Apply the limit uh, integration. So S2 1 is equal to 3 by 2 constant 2 minus 1 t, right? integration is 0 to 2 so 2 minus 2 2 will get cancelled so s21 will be equal to 3 now can i substitute the value for s21 in this formula <clears throat> so what will be a g2 of t g2 of t will be equal to s2 of t minus 3 into 5 1 of t now you have got your g2 of t can we <clears throat> draw it diagrammatically s2 of t again i have drawn it what will be your 3 into 5 1 of t this is your 5 1 of t you will be multiplying it by 3 so you will be getting amplitude will be 3 by 2 right now what is your g2 of t s2 of t first diagram minus your second diagram so when i subtract this here it is 0 to 2 the amplitude is 3 here 0 to uh, 2 again the amplitude is 3 by 2 so 3 minus 3 by 2 right so for 0 to 2 you will be getting 3 minus 3 by 2 and for 2 to 4 
here it is 2 to 4 here the value is 0 right so let me draw it see here here this is g by 2 so what is your value here 3 minus 3 by 2 so 3 to the 6 minus 3 divided by 2 so again you will be getting amplitude as 3 by 2 for the time period 0 to 2 and for 2 to 4 here it is 0 0 minus 3 by 2 so what you will be getting minus 3 by 2 that's why you have the diagram as plus 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 so this will be minus 3 by 2 for the time duration 2 to 4 now you have got g2 of t once you know g2 of t can you find out phi 2 of t by taking the energy so what will be your e g2 of t 0 to t g2 square into dt what is your amplitude g2 square now you have the integration 0 to 2 uh, sorry for g2 of t here you have two integrals right 0 to 2 and 2 to 4 for 0 to 2 it is 3 by 2 and for 2 to 4 it is minus 3 by 2 that is what you have split it so 0 to 2 3 by 2 the whole square into dt plus 2 to 4 minus 3 by 2 the whole square into dt so 3 3 is a 9 by 4 into apply the limit 2 minus 0 so 2 and again 9 by 4 4 minus 2 you will be getting 2 2 4 will get cancelled so 9 by 2 plus 9 by 2 which is 18 by 2 which is equal to 9 joules so e uh, g2 of t is equal to 9 joules now can you find out the value for phi 2 of t what will be your phi 2 of t g2 of t divided by the energy of the signal so g2 of t divided by root 9 which is nothing but equal to 3 so therefore phi 2 of t will be equal to 1 by 3 into g2 of t can can i draw now phi 2 of t phi 2 2 of t is equal to what did you get g2 of t g2 of t is equal to 3 by 2 for 0 to 2 and minus 3 by 2 for 2 to 4 right minus 3 by 2 so 1 by 3 into g2 of t so here multiply by 1 by 3 here multiply by 1 by 3 3 3 will get cancelled here also 3 3 will get cancelled so it will become 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 2 so i can write that phi 2 of t is equal to 1 by 2 for 0 to 2 and minus 1 by 2 for 2 to 4 okay now you are going for your step 3 you have uh, far you what is the you have found out now phi 2 of t now you have got the value for phi 1 of t and phi 2 of t is it possible to find out your phi 3 of t no need right because already you have uh, got your two orthonormal basis function and one more uh, you have to check whether it is orthogonal to each other so whether phi 1 of t and phi 2 of t is orthogonal to each other so if i substitute the value 0 to t phi 1 of t into phi 2 of t into dt so for 0 to 2 what is the value for phi 1 of t phi 1 of t the value is equal to for 0 to 4 it is 1 by 2 right so for 0 to 2 also the amplitude is 1 by 2 where is it huh phi 1 of t it is 1 by 2 phi 2 of t is also 1 by 2 for the time interval 0 to 2 whereas 2 to 4 here it is 1 by 2 and here it is minus 1 by 2 so when you cancel here it is 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 which is equal to 0 so your uh, 0 to t phi 1 of t into phi 2 of t into dt is equal to 0 therefore it is orthogonal to each other so you you it is not necessary to find the value of phi 3 of t it will be equal to 0 step 4 what is the uh, second task you have to represent this in terms of basis function okay what is your s1 of t how will you represent you know that phi 1 of t is equal to what is your value phi 1 of t is equal to s1 of t divided by 6 just cross multiply so s1 of t is equal to 6 into phi 1 of t similarly what will be your phi 2 of t g2 of t divided by 3 right so cross multiply 3 phi 2 and substitute the value for g2 so s2 of t from this you can calculate s2 of t is equal to 3 into phi 2 of t plus 3 into phi 1 of t similarly what will be your how will you find out s3 of t you know that s3 of t is equal to you know that you can substitute the you have not found out the value right so you know that s1 of t is equal to s2 of t plus s3 of t from this can you find out the value for s3 of t s3 of t is equal to s1 of t minus s2 of t substitute the value for s1 of t and s2 of t you will be getting s3 of t is equal to 3 5 1 of t minus 3 5 2 of t so by this your uh, problems of your orthogonalization procedure is over the notes are available in my telegram channel